Okay, dear students, let us see how are we going to do this question. Two traveling waves are moving through a medium. The diagram shows for a point in the medium, the variation with time t of the displacement d of each of the waves. For the instant when t is equal to 2 millisecond, what is the phase difference between the waves and what is the resultant displacement of the waves? My dear students, first of all, we must understand like what is happening here. There is one particular medium, so you can think about this environment, you can think about this air, and I am speaking. So the sound wave is traveling in this wave. Let us say there is another sound wave that is coming, or it is crossing something, or it is moving in the same direction or something. So there are two waves which are passing through one particular medium. So what does actually happen in this kind of a case? What happens is, now you are going to concentrate only on one particle. We are not going to concentrate on all of the particles of this uh, medium. Like let us say there is one string. Obviously the string is made up of many particles. We are not considering that. If the graph given is like this, that on the y-axis you have displacement and on the x-axis you have distance. The distance of the particles from the first position, like where is the particle? Which particle are we talking about? This graph pertains to wave. But in this graph, you can see that on the x-axis, it is time, it's not distance. Now this, actually, it, it is giving us about information about the simple harmonic motion. So this graph is about the simple harmonic motion that is completed by one particle. So we are not actually concerned with the wave. We are concerned with only one particle motion going up, coming down, going up and going down. Now there are two waves, different waves, which are going. So in 4.1 topic, we have done this topic of superposition. And in that topic, what we were doing, we were just adding the amplitudes. So either the amplitudes are added or the amplitudes are subtracted. Similarly here, let us say at 2 millisecond, what is happening here, at this point, the displacement is plus 1. But at this point, the displacement is minus 1.6. Now we want to find the resultant displacement. Now, what does it mean? You just add these two. Obviously, the resultant displacement is coming out to be minus 0.6 and the units will be millimeter as given. Now, the second thing is what is the phase difference between the two waves? We have to see that. Now, as such, there is a particular formula that I'm going to give you. Right? This is given in, the, in our books for IB also, but uh, many a times it is overlooked by the students. So what is happening is delta phi is the phase difference that would be given by 2 pi divided by delta t in divided by t into delta t. 2 pi is the total angle for one wavelength and t is the total time period for one wavelength. And delta t will be the difference between the two uh, for like uh, two crests. You can say like what is the delta t here or like two trough or like these two points. Like what is the gap between these two points? You have to find it. So because the x-axis is having time, so it will be delta t. You just substitute the value of delta t there and you can find delta phi. Now the problem is this graph is not detailed. So we are not going to use this method. We are just, I am just discussing this method because you might be using this method somewhere else. So it is good to know it. But anyways, for this particular question, there is an easy method. So what that will be, we can just look, it, look on it. Like you see, for this wave, wave number one, it starts from here and it is completed at 5 milliseconds. What about the second wave? It starts at this point and it goes all the way up to this. And this is also completing its cycle at 5 milliseconds. It means these are two waves having the same time period and they have the same frequency. So what is happening? They are just moving around, like they are just shifting a bit. So we can find by what angle have they shifted. So this is the point and this is the point. Uh, so we want to find the distance between these two. So what will be the distance between these two or the crests we can say. Um, yeah, these two. Fine. You see, now if this is zero and we say that if, if this is the sine angle, so this will be pi. This is just the midpoint of it because the other is making the maximum point here. This is the minimum. So this is pi by 2. It means that this angle or this angle can be taken as pi by 2. So the phase difference between these two is pi by 2. That is 90 degree. So our answer will be T. So my dear student, this is how we do it. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best.